Hi guys, today is a great day. Um, actually, the past week has been tremendous. Um, Bitcoin Cash has finally gone up and Biteball as well, uh, both of which are my only uh, positions in, um, in, in, in cryptocurrency that I choose myself. I invest also in some diversified portfolios, but those are smaller uh, investments just in case I'm wrong. Um, they have been doing okay, uh, the general, uh, actually, the general altcoin market has been doing very well the past month. Uh, I just checked the market cap, but um, it's plus 50% of altcoins the past month. And Bitcoin has also gone up, uh, but it's not plus 50, it's maybe plus 20 or so. But um, altcoins have started to really uh, take off. And so this means this is the, well, uh, final leg of the bubble, I think. Um, uh, I mean, of the temporary bubble. Uh, um, I, I do think the odds are uh, that uh, we're gonna get a serious correction. Uh, we are now, uh, if you watched my other videos with the uh, historical price, um, uh, it's about 90 billion, uh, but uh, the market cap uh, of, uh, of, uh, of all cryptocurrencies is now 650 or so, 650 billion. And so that means that we're 700% um, overvalued compared to the historical valuation. And that's uh, about my target for this bubble. Um, can go to 800%, possibly even 1000%, possibly even 1300%. But those are the all time highs uh, of 2011 was 1300%. 2013 it went uh, up to 1000%. So I do think volatility goes down, down over time, that's logical. And so I think overvaluation will be less than those eras. Uh, it goes down over time, so maybe we get 800%, but that means uh, we're at 700. So a big red flashing light is going off in my head. Uh, time to start uh, really um, yeah, looking in profits. Um, as the odds have become high that we get a serious correction for some time and you will be able to buy back cheaper later in fiat and uh, luckily my pump my coins have started pumping also um but i do want to wait a little bit longer because um i'm still not i mean in fiat i've done tremendously well and and i'm very proud of myself and i hope you are too um, uh, um, of me, proud of me, but proud of yourself too. Uh, if you have really uh, made uh, great money in this market, um, we've been very lucky and fortunate. And of course, we've done a great job in being courageous to do this. But um, um, if I look at the value of my portfolio in Bitcoin, actually, I'm not at an all-time high. I just come from an all-time low. Uh, two, only two weeks ago, the value of my portfolio in Bitcoin was, well, as low as it has ever been. Because Bitcoin had been pumping hard from, well, what was it? Uh, basically, uh, 5,000 was the last all-time high. 5,000 US dollars broke that and went basically straight to 15,000 or 20,000. Eh? So, 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 and in the meantime, altcoins uh, went down in Bitcoin value. And, and since I'm only invest in altcoins, not in Bitcoin. Uh, I took a good beating, uh, and, uh, and so I, I reached a new all-time low in Bitcoin uh, two, three weeks ago. And I, I made also videos saying that, um, well, uh, um, I hope my coins start pumping also, and some altcoins had started pumping. Last time I made a video, but mine not, but now mine too, so that's very, very good. But if I look at the Bitcoin value of my portfolio, well, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm up now with 50% compared to two weeks ago. That's very good, but I'm not uh, at an all-time high at all. Uh, no, actually I'm I'm 50% below uh, the amount of bitcoins I once started in 2012. I invested 10% of my capital in Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin was about 10, 13 dollars. The amount of Bitcoin I was able to buy then. Well, uh, if I look at the total, my total portfolio now. The value in Bitcoin is um, half of that. Uh, of course, I made a mistake in 2012 only to invest 10% in Bitcoin, but this was a very different era. Eh? Uh, uh, at that time, Bitcoin was perceived as extremely risky. Um, so, so, uh, but still, I made that mistake not to invest uh, enough. Um, I've uh, corrected these mistakes uh, later. 
Uh, but still, I've taken on a lot of risk over the years, investing always in uh, other cryptocurrencies than Bitcoin. Um, and, 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 and sometimes it has worked, sometimes not. But, uh, but I still have to be rewarded for that, in my opinion, uh, because I do think um, Bitcoin has been uh, led extremely poorly. Transaction fees are now $30 <laughs> a pop. Uh, it's ridiculous. And, 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 but this has to show also in my portfolio. I really want to like, have succeeded in having made Bitcoin. Eh? Um, and and uh, over all these years I've been investing in cryptocurrency market. I did not succeed in that yet, but I think I'm very close. I think this might happen over the next month. If uh, Byteball, for example, that's now, it had a low of 0. Um, 0, uh, sorry, 0. 0.15, is it? Yeah. Uh, and now it's at, uh, no, sorry, 0. 0.015. <laughs> uh, no, no, it had a high of 0. 0.35 uh, Bitcoin uh, three, four, five months back. 0 0.35 it had a low of not 0 0.035 not 10 times lower but 20 times lower it was 0 0.015 so um we're now at 0 0.045 uh, that's great that is times three uh, in two three weeks in bitcoin value very good but we have a long way to go to reach the all-time high in bitcoin value for byte ball uh, that is at 0 0.35 so from here that's again times 10 versus Bitcoin. But if we succeed in that, then I will also succeed with my portfolio in finally have, have, having made Bitcoin in this market and having more Bitcoin, uh, or, or uh, not more Bitcoin, actual Bitcoin, but more value in, uh, expressed in Bitcoin uh, today than uh, I once uh, started with. Uh, and I think that's amazing if I can succeed in that. And it's something I deserve um, uh, for the risk I've taken and the right projects I've picked, but we will see. Uh, 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 it's not because you think you deserve it that you will get it, and the market has to agree, uh, and there is always, always some luck involved, so I hope I have also that luck on my side to see Byteball and Bitcoin Cash uh, go up considerably from here still, in a short time frame possibly, uh, but um, for example, Bitcoin Cash is now at 0 0.2 Bitcoin, I started uh, the, even before Bitcoin Cash was launched, uh, making videos about uh, how, what a great investment I think it is. But it was already at 0 0.1 Bitcoin from the start. Eh? So those are my investment prices also. Uh, and, um, and now it's at 0 0.2, so it went time to in Bitcoin value. But I did not invest for this. Uh, I invested uh, to, for it to see it take over Bitcoin. So at least times five. Uh, so at 0 0.5, I think at that point, I can say that, wow, I, I did very well. Uh, and in the long term, if it succeeds in, uh, in becoming more valuable than Bitcoin, uh, yeah, that was, of course, a great success. But uh, in, in the market, the way it's priced today, it's still not, it's still priced very, in my opinion, modestly, if you compare it to Bitcoin. And uh, the big pump still has to come. Um, we saw Bitcoin Cash go up to 0 0.5. Bitcoin uh, two months back, um, uh, but it, it dropped down all the way back to 0 0.085. Uh, so, 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 um, and before that, there was a low of 0 0.05. Uh, so, um, no, actually, that was a recent low, 0 0.05, and now it's at 0 0.2 in, in Bitcoin value. So, yeah, um, mm, um, that's, that's, that's the situation. Huh? Look at these beautiful cars here, so McLarens. Huh? If you uh, need some inspiration uh, to buy a beautiful car, well, this is um, not the entry model. This is actually the entry model. It's the it's the is a McLaren, uh, the new one, the 570s, uh, huh? and uh, it's it's really it's 200,000 euro or 200,000 dollars. Um, um, uh, plus Texas, but this is a great car to buy. They have it in a coupe. Uh, this is a 540, actually before the 570S, but this is also the 570S. Um, and here you have the Spider 570S is out now too. Uh, uh, this is a little bit more, let's do 20,000 euro to 30 to 40,000 US dollars. But this is, 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 is the best value you can buy in the supercar market. Uh, it's an entry model, eh? but uh, McLaren builds these cars like 
they are so fast and 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 uh, it's really great. This is the new one, uh, the mid-range model in the McLaren 720S. So this goes even faster, but you do pay, instead of 200, you pay 300 or 350,000 euro, 300,000 euro, yeah. Uh, and so 330,000 US dollars. But you only have the Mini Coupe, you don't have the Spider yet. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, cool cars, but I would still, I, 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 I still love the most the Hurricane and the Hurricane Spider from Lamborghini. Um, but they are not such good cars, but in my opinion, they are the coolest cars, but not the best cars. These are the best cars if you want to really drive fast in corners and, and pull up like uh, the McLaren is, is really the best buy here. Uh, but yeah, if you want to be a cool bro, uh, <laughs> the Lamborghinis are the coolest, of course. And you have also these days Aventador, you can buy second hand. Uh, and, and, and since it's already on the market for five years or so, uh, you can buy them at 40% discount or so over new price. Eh? Uh, so Aventador, you will pay also about 300,000, but new they cost it like 500,000. So these are really the top models of Lamborghini. Eh? If you want to buy the top model of McLaren, that's not this one, 7020S, that's the P1, and it costs two million. Uh, you can't buy that. Uh, and it's, these are collector items, that's the problem. Uh, the Avento, there is not a collector item, there are many of them, and so you can really buy that to drive. Eh? But be prepared for a lot of misery, <laughs> because these cars are so fragile, uh, so many issues, but that's part of, um, you know, the well, that's part of, uh, if you buy them new, you will have that a lot less. If you buy them second hand, a lot more. Too. So, the Hurricane the Spider you can buy new or almost new. You might have a lot less problems with the Aventador. If you uh, buy that uh, second hand, yeah, you might have a lot more issues. Huh? And of course, don't forget the Lamborghini Gallardo, the one I have. Uh, this is actually very cheap eh, because the Hurricane will cost you 200,000 euro, Aventador 300,000 euro. But uh, Gallardo can buy 400,000 US dollars, uh, 80,000 euro, and, uh, and it will, will not drop in value uh, over time. I mean, in fiat value. Mm. Uh, so it has reached its bottom. It's a great uh, car to drive, actually. Uh, so, 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 so if you want to hold on to your crypto, but still buy a supercar, well, that's not a bad idea. Uh, you, will, you will pay the bills in higher expenses, uh, more breakdowns, but... Uh, but um, yeah, uh, it's a cool car. It's a really cool car. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. And I wish you all a great day. Bye-bye.